Hundred Dollar MBA Show, the business podcast that gives you specific tactical strategies to help your business today with our daily ten minute business lessons for the real world. I'm your host, your coach, your teacher, Omar Zenholm. I'm also the co-founder of the Hundred Dollar MBA, a complete business training and community online. Check out all our freebies, our free course, our free guides over at one zero zero MBA dot net. All for you, so you can get started with your business. In today's episode, you will learn what is a shopping cart and why do you need one? There's this concept of a shopping cart on a website that makes transactions, that sells things. Does your website need one? Do you need one to sell products? And if so, what do I recommend? This is what we're going to be talking about today. This is a little bit of a technical episode, but it may save you a lot of headaches because a lot of people sometimes think they need something when they don't. Or they need something and they don't have it, and they use the wrong product for it. And so, in about ten minutes, I may save you a whole lot of money and time. So let's get into it, guys. Let's get down to business. Today's episode of the Hundred Dollar MBA Show is sponsored by our website hosting solution of choice, HostGator. We love HostGator because they always got your back with your website with twenty four seven live support via phone, chat, or email. Get your website up and running today for less than five dollars a month with their massive thirty percent discount for listeners of the Hundred Dollar MBA Show. Just go to hostgator.com/mba30. Again, that's hostgator.com/mba30 and get started. So, what exactly is a shopping cart? Basically, a shopping cart is a piece of software that acts as an online store's catalog, and it's part of the ordering process for anybody who's checking out or buying something on your site. So typically, a shopping cart is a interface between your company's website and your payment processor, whether that's PayPal, Stripe, Braintree, whatever you choose. So you could see it as a bridge. Now you might be thinking, "Well, I thought PayPal or Stripe can just take care of everything with no shopping cart." Good question. Well, a shopping cart is useful if you would like to offer more than one product at a time for sale, meaning that you want people to buy more than one thing at a time. So with PayPal or Stripe, it's easy to check out. If it's just one product you're selling on your site, and that's it. But what a shopping cart does is that it allows you to gather different things. Just like on Amazon.com, you can have a cart full of things, and then you check out your cart, right? So even if you're selling courses or products or software or eBooks, people like using a shopping cart because they want to be able to sell something other than just the eBook, an upsell or a complimentary course or something like that. Even if you're doing a live event, some people they sell a pre-con event. Or they ask them to upgrade to maybe a course that comes with the event, or the event plus a VIP dinner, something like that. And you have to have a shopping cart to be able to manage that, to talk to your website and say, "I want these things that cost this much." And then when you check me out with Stripe or PayPal, I want you to charge the total amount of all these things. I hope that's clear. So just to sum up, to just make this super crystal clear, if you're selling one product. Then checking out is pretty simple. You can use Stripe, you can use Gumroad, you can use PayPal because it's just one product, and the checkout process is easy because it's just one price. But if you're asking the website to total up different things, add more things to the cart, then you're going to need a shopping cart. Another reason why people like having a shopping cart is because they want to be able to customize or have a good-looking shopping experience. In other words, the checkout page. So they say yes, I want to buy, and they go and they fill out their name, their email address. You know, if they're going to set up a username or password, you know, their billing address or credit card information. They want that page to look nice, to look professional, rather than going off the site with PayPal or using some sort of layover with Gumroad or something like that. So a shopping cart could definitely do that to make it look very nice. Now, there's an exception to this rule. I know this is getting a little, you know, complex, but just stay with me. If you're selling a course and you're using a course management software, something like Teachery.co, Teachery takes care of everything for you. So the shopping cart experience, all that stuff, and it takes care of the fact that they're giving your users usernames and passwords and setting them up so they have access to your membership or to your course. Then you don't need a shopping cart because that whole system includes the shopping cart and everything. Same thing goes if you have a membership plugin on WordPress. If you're using something like Membership Mouse or Digital Access Pass or what we prefer, Paid Memberships Pro. Now, again, because I'm selling one product on the Hundred Dollar MBA, one course, that shopping cart is not really that important because I'm not adding things to the cart. There's no upselling. They're just going to buy one thing. 
So Paid Membership Pro will give me a easy one-page checkout page to allow my users to fill out that information. This is similar to what Teachery will offer if you want to go with an all-inclusive uh, system where you can sell your course or courses. So to keep this clear, you must, must have a shopping cart if you're going to be selling more than one product at a time, especially if you're selling physical goods like a clothing store. You may want to have it if you want to have a better looking shopping experience, like a nice looking checkout page. But if you're selling a single one-off product, you probably don't need a shopping cart, especially if you're using a platform that already includes it and has that part of the package. Okay, so what if you need a shopping cart? What do I recommend? Now, there's a lot, a lot of different shopping carts out there. So I'm not going to bore you with all the details. I'm just going to give you my recommendation. A lot of people use Infusionsoft because Infusionsoft has you know, that shopping cart experience as well into their software. I'm not going to recommend them, not because I don't think Infusionsoft is great, but because it forces you to go into the Infusionsoft ecosystem, and you may not want to do that. You may want to just stay with your MailChimp or stay with uh, Active Campaign or whatever you're using, and you just need the shopping cart. And this is why I recommend SamCart. And you can check them out at SamCart.com. SamCart's not paying us a dime for this recommendation, but I'm just recommending them because I think they have the best kind of tools there at an affordable price. And I've seen it in action with a lot of my colleagues, and I think it really, really works well. Number one, SamCart is easy to use. It's easy to integrate with any of your membership sites if you're going to be selling courses. It also integrates with all your email marketing software like MailChimp and Infusionsoft and ActiveCampaign and AWeber. It also integrates with Stripe and PayPal, so you can have your payment processor process the payment after the customer has filled their cart. They also integrate with Authorize.net and Braintree. Now with SamCart, you can customize the way your checkout page looks, which I love. This is what I love about it. It looks wonderful. The templates look great, but if you want to customize it with your own branding, you could do that. They also have one-click upsells if you want to upsell people to different products, and they have real-time stats so you can know if people are abandoning the cart. This is something very, very important when you're looking at your, you know, your stats for your website and for your business. Are people leaving the shopping cart? You can also track customer lifetime value, upsell conversions, A-B tests, and a whole lot more. I just think Sam Cart is just very good looking. It's a good product. It's reliable. And it's not crazy expensive. I think you can get started for 14 days for free. But after that, it's $99 a month, which is very, very reasonable for this type of software. Your shopping cart is very, very important in a business transaction ecosystem. So there you have it, guys. This is what a shopping cart is. This is what I recommend. If you're selling more than one product at a time on your website, then you really need a shopping cart. There's really no way to kind of do this without a cart. If you're selling one-off courses, you probably won't need it. You probably won't need it if you're using some sort of membership scripts plugin or an all-inclusive package or all-inclusive solution like teatree.co. I got one more piece of advice when it comes to shopping carts, but before that, I got to go love to today's sponsor, HostGator. Speaking of websites, if you want to launch a WordPress site in minutes, HostGator's got one-click WordPress installs. That means you can install WordPress in about one minute. That's pretty cool. So once you've installed WordPress, what do you do? HostGator is there to help you 24-7 with their live support. Just hop on support and they'll walk you through it. How to install your themes, how to register a domain name, how to market your actual website, how to install a SSL certificate on your website so you can have secure checkouts with your shopping cart, right? I love this because HostGator is like your own little IT team for your business. Best of all, they do it all at a great price. You can get started with your website for less than $5 a month with their 30% discount for listeners to the $100 MBA show. Just go to HostGator.com slash MBA30 to get this amazing deal. Again, that's HostGator.com slash MBA30. One last piece of advice, if you're shopping for shopping carts, different solutions, if you want to look at SamCart and look at other ones, there's a couple of things I want you to make sure that the solution has because it's so important. Number one, make sure that it's mobile responsive. That means that the cart will look great on a mobile device. A lot of people are using their mobile device to check out and buy things. In fact, in 2014, they reported over 55% of all internet usage is with a mobile device. So you don't want to miss out on that. Number two, the time to set it up. Do you need an expert? Do they charge you for setup? Is it going to take time for you to set it up? Or is it intuitive and easy to do and you can do it yourself? This is another reason why I recommend SamCart because you get set up in 10 to 15 minutes and you can do it yourself. It's pretty easy. 
Number three, this is my last one, it's really important, is that some shopping carts include the SSL certificate, meaning that you don't need to buy your own SSL certificate to secure checkouts. You know that little lock you see in the browser? That's what an SSL does. It encrypts uh, everything to make sure everything's secure for your users. Now with Sam's cart, it's built in so you don't have to buy your own. Something you really, really need to uh, keep in mind. So take a look at those points when you're shopping around for shopping carts. All right, guys, that wraps up today's lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have two minutes, we would love to hear your feedback. Just leave us an iTunes rating and review. And remember, everybody who leaves us an iTunes rating and review enters our weekly random draw to win a free lifetime membership to the $100 MBA training and community. Everybody who leaves us an iTunes rating and review enters our weekly random draw. And it's your chance to win a lifetime membership to the $100 MBA. It's our way to say thank you for showing us some love on iTunes. All right, guys, that's it for me today. But before I go, I want to leave you with this. I must warn you, there will be shopping carts out there that are less expensive than Sam Cart. There's going to be ones that are a whole lot more expensive. But most of the time with technology, you get what you pay for. Sam Cart is actually a really good price. I think they're good. Now, I don't use Sam Cart myself because I personally don't need it for the $100 MBA. For Webinar Ninja, we have our own custom development team. So they develop everything from scratch. But if you're just getting started, remember that you want to use something that's secure, that's reliable, that looks good, that you can use for the years to come and not just the immediate future. And keep that in mind when you're shopping around for any piece of software or anything for your business. All right, guys, I'll check you in tomorrow's episode. I'll see you then. Take care. Take care.